are going to learn about the audacity of faith. The audacity of faith. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Faith has audacity. Amen. And it's audacious. Mm -hmm. So today that's what we're going to learn in Jesus' name. Did you come with your Bible? Yes. Lift up your Bible. Lift up your Bible. See, this is my Bible. Is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I will go where it says I will go. My mind is made up. My heart is made up. I will never be the same again. In Jesus' name. Let's go to Mark 11, verse number 12. New King James Version, if you can. Thank you, worship team. Thank you, worship team. I hope you have your pen, your, your Bibles, and your notebook. All right, let's go to Mark 11, verse number 12. All right. Are you there? Yes. Are you there? Yes. Say, mm-hmm, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. We are going to clear our thoughts, and then we are going to read one, two, go. Now, the next day, when they had come out of out from Bethany, they was, he was hungry. Verse 13. And seeing from afar a fig tree having leaves, he went to see if perhaps he will find something on it. When he came to it, he found nothing but leaves, for it was not the season. Note that one. It was not the season for figs. In response, Jesus said to it, let no one eat food from you again. And his, his disciples had it. So it was not the season for the tree to bear fruits. Jesus speaks and the disciples hear it. Now jump to verse number 20. Now in the morning, as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots. The sound is nice. You can just add volume. And Peter, remembering, said to him, Rabbi, you see Rabbi, okay. Rabbi, look, the fig tree which you, have, you cast has withered. So Jesus, verse number 22, so Jesus answered and said to them, have faith in God. One more time. So Jesus answered and said to them, have faith in God. Verse 23, for assuredly I say to you, Whoever says to this mountain, be removed and cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes those things he has says will be done, he shall have whatever he says. Verse 24, therefore I say to you, look at your neighbor and tell them, therefore I say to you, look at another neighbor and tell them, therefore I say to you. All right, what are you saying? What things soever. You ask when you pray that you receive them and you shall praise be to God. All right, we're going to read Hebrews 1, 11, verse number 1. Hebrews 11, verse number 1. And then you're going to sit and I'm going to start. Right? Hebrews 11, verse number 1. Show us the New King James Version. All right, if the sound is not that better, we can do the microphone. All right? It's okay. All right. So the way you had done that for the microphone, for the rapper, do it for my mic. All right, what to go? Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things. Please Pamoja, give me some trouble. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The one more time. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. We're going to read it in the New International Version, the Bible that Ken loves. He says, now faith is being sure of what we have hoped for and certain of what we do not see. Eish, that is powerful. That I'm certain of something I've never seen. Praise be to God. Like, for example, if I tell you I'm giving you a million shillings. You're shocked that pastor can't give you money. All right. So, for example, if I give you a million shillings, if I say I will give you a million shillings, yes. you should be certain enough, beyond a shadow of a doubt, yes. that I'm going to give you that money. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. All right, it says, now faith is being sure of what we hope for, and certain of what we do not see. Yeah. This is what the Asians were commended for. We shall do it in the Amplified, and then you're going to see. Amplified in a sermon, in a sermon. Now faith 
is the assurance, the confirmation, the title deed of things we hope for, being the proof of things we do not see, and the conviction of their reality. In other words, I'm fully persuaded. Faith perceiving as real fact, what is not revealed to the senses. Oh, glory to God. That faith is perceiving as facts, what is not revealed in the senses. In other words, and faith does not make sense. Praise be to God. And then he says, for by faith, trust, holy father, born of faith, the men of old had divine testimony born to them and obtained a good report. Can I hear an amen? amen? So today, I start up your faith in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare as this message is being preached, your faith levels are being started up in the name of Jesus Christ. You shall go, you shall and begin to grow in faith and have audacious faith in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray, mighty God, that your spirit be at liberty in this place, healing people, delivering somebody in this place, ministering to somebody in this place. Let their lives never be the same again. We thank you and we bless you in Jesus' name. And God's good people say the better. Amen. Amen. Put your hand on your chest and say, I receive great faith. One more time, I receive great faith. One more time, I receive great faith. In Jesus' name. name. Alright, you may have your seats in the presence of the Lord. Alright. Are you ready for today? Alright. So, I say it. I spoke and said that today, even if you don't give me your amens, um, God is going to do something. In Jesus' name. We are shifting. We are shifting by the power of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, when we talk about the audacity of faith, we mean a lot of things. And so I'm going to give you a background of where and how this teaching is going to benefit you. When we talk about audacious faith, we mean the God kind of faith. Allow me to define audacity. Audacity is written as A-U-D-A-C-I-T-Y. It is important to come to church with a notebook and a pen and a paper so that you can take notes and take notes. Praise be to God. So write the meaning of audacity. Audacity means a willingness to take bold steps. Audacity means a willingness to take bold steps or bold risks. Audacity basically means a taking a willingness to take bold risks or bold steps. Praise be to God. Now in this journey of faith, God has called you and I to a life of faith. That's why you read in the Bible, Apostle Paul speaking and a number of writers in the, in the Bible, they keep on saying, for we walk by faith and not by sight. Repeat that with me. I'm walking by faith and not by sight. Say again, I'm walking by faith and not by sight. So the struggle between uh, uh, at the time of when you got born again is a struggle of your senses and what the word of God is saying. Because most of the time, believers, it will amaze you that most of the time we actually walk carnally. We actually walk like carnal men. We talk like carnal men. We reason sometimes like carnal men. There is a place for reasoning, but reasoning should never overshadow the walk of faith. Praise be to God. If you jump, this is not in my, in my text, but if you jump to Hebrews 11 verse number 8, there is an interesting text there that talks about Abraham. All right, let's go to Hebrews 11, verse number 8. It says something. It says, by faith, let's look at the New King James Version if we can. It says, by faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to the place which he will receive an inheritance. In other words, faith works by obedience. God has not called you to think through faith. It's going to get better. God has not called you to think through faith. You obey by moving. When God in Genesis 12, don't go there, but when God in Genesis 12 tells Abraham, get out of your father's house to a land I will show you, he doesn't begin to ask God, where is the land? What is the GPS coordinates of 
the land? What's the color of the soil of the land? Is it fertile? He just walked away. Walked with God. Can I hear me there? He says, Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to the place which he will receive an inheritance. And he went out, not knowing where he was going. In other words, it's scriptural to say that I'm walking by faith and I don't know where I'm going. So where are you heading to? I'm walking by faith. I'm obeying my last instruction. Talk to me. Can I hear an amen? amen? So if you look at faith from this angle, God will never reveal everything to you. Write that down. God will not reveal everything to me. That is the journey of faith. God never reveals everything to you. If he reveals everything to you, it's no longer a journey of faith. Praise be to God. From up here, you look blessed. Amen. Prosperous. Amen. Kings in the marketplace. Amen. But let me ask you, if God was to show you back 10 years ago and shows you where you are right now, <laughs> some of you will give up. Because the battles you have fought, that way, we are meaning you will be done as a vita. So come on, get one nation. My name is a vita. Oh, you imagine God that you have a time to get 1.2 million. Let this cup pass. But there is a real of faith you have stepped into after such an ordeal, after such an experience. Is it making sense? So God doesn't show you the, the full road. He shows you the back road. Amen. So God doesn't show you the full road. God doesn't show you, like in the movies, He doesn't show you how the script, will, uh, how the script is being created. He shows you how the script has ended. Oh, glory to God. By faith, he just stepped in obedience. And God in this season wants us to step in obedience. What a good reason. Can I hear an amen? Una mandugu wapa? When yes, he mwaka, una fao kuo kifanya arusi. Na mwaka ineenda tu. Una sema, mimi tafanya arusi wakati, nime patato, niko na job, Economy to a poor. That is good reasoning, but that's not faith. All married men here and married women here will tell you we didn't get we did not get married by uh, by having money. And I see to go to the job what we are doing. Praise be to God. If God had told me some ten years ago that I would have four boys, I would have told him, hey, 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 castrate me, kid. <laughs> is that the right thing to say in church? Praise be to God. Praise be to God. But raising four boys has given me faith in God to believe the impossible. Praise be to God. So I pray you shall have audacity to believe God for crazy things in Jesus' name. Now notice this. Faith is born when knowledge, which is the word of God, is revealed. Faith is powerless without knowledge. The goal and the mission of the devil is to constantly prevent you from getting knowledge. And if you can corrupt the knowledge that you're getting into, he has corrupted your faith. Now, I know for a fact that the prosperity gospel has been stretched so far. But let me tell you as a pastor that any truth in the Bible can be stretched to its maximum. I have met guys who say, now that we are in grace, we don't pray. That devil is a liar. You don't pray. You will be kind of The devil will come to take notes and take notes of the things you are going to do. Praise be to God. The truths and the principles of God are, cannot be stretched. They have boundaries. Talk to me. They have boundaries. So, Hosea 4, 6 says what? My people perish. Not because they are not praying. By faith, start. The Bible says, my people, my people, uh -huh. they perish. Why? Because they are not praying. not one that we have read. If you don't have it, you will stand this, the whole service. Where is that scripture? On your t-shirt. <laughs> you may have your seat. 
All right. Hosea 4 6 1, it says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because you have rejected knowledge, I also will reject you. So faith works by knowledge. Write that down. Faith works by knowledge. And as you're writing your notes, you should be writing this way. My faith in Christ works by knowledge. Because you're personalizing this scripture. So what is the simplest definition of faith? Faith is conviction of what God has done and can do and working it out without wavering in the presence of doubt. Can I repeat it again? Faith is conviction of what God has done and can do and working it out without wavering in the presence of doubt. So, come on, Melissa, for I am yet to see something that God will tell you to do that you can do on your own. I am yet to see. I'm still searching. Because God, when He comes into the picture, God has the habit of blowing things out of proportion. Glory to God. When God tells you to begin a business, he doesn't think a kiosk. <laughs> he begins to talk to you from a blue chip level. Like Safari Corp. Hallelujah, people of God. So faith is conviction of what God has done and can do and working it out without wavering in the presence of doubt. Now, realize this. Grace has already made available all things. Write that down. Grace and it's not the worship team leader here. Grace has already made available everything that you need. Peter says, according as his divine power, has given us all things that, uh, that pertains to life and godliness in Christ. So, grace has already made available all that you need. But it takes faith to access what grace has made available. Are you writing that down? It takes what? Faith to access what grace has made available. Let's look at Ephesians 2 8. It says, For by grace you have been saved through faith. That is the scripture you are quoting. For by grace, can we read together? For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourself, it is the gift of God, and not of works, lest anyone should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for Good works. In other words, I've been created for good works. You have been created for good works. Tell yourself, I've been created for good works. So there is no emptiness in you. You should actually pray the prayer that uh, Dr. Miles Monroe used to pray that I will die empty. That everything God has installed, has stored in me, I will give it to my generation. He says, You are saved by grace through faith. So grace cannot be alone. Faith cannot be alone. Is it making sense? Is it making sense? Now write this down. God, grace is God's part. Grace is God's part. Faith is your part. Grace is God's part. Faith is your part. We need to have both working together, grace and faith. Grace is often defined as unmerited or undeserved favor. In other words, grace is not tied to anything we do. It is all about what God has done through Jesus for us. Grace is God's part. Faith is my part. Faith is defined as truly and fully trusting God. In other words, believing without wavering or doubting that God has already done what he promised. Is it making sense? Faith is not trusting in what we have done. It is our response to what God has done and provided us by grace. Faith is our part. Grace without your faith won't save you. Grace without your faith, it will not work. But I hear an amen. So, for example, who has an ATM? I didn't carry mine. Who has an ATM? Give me an ATM card. Amen. Praise God. Fish. Well. Hey. This is an ATM card. You all know what an ATM card does. Senior. So, if I go to that, a machine, an ATM machine, punch in the right codes. 
it will show me the balance and what I will personally want to withdraw. See you Now, grace is actually the ATM machine. It has everything. But you can die hungry because you're not using your ATM. You will walk because you're not using your ATM. And guess what, people of God? The ATM cannot be uh, re- uh, what, what's the word? Humaniza, see, for replenish. Diminish. Always humaniza, resource, say your ATM. But I hear amen. So, insufficiency in Gile. See, I can eat your gun. The way we exercise with Jacob. Walk to the ATM, punch the cord, withdraw what you need. Is it making sense? Do you know inside the grace of God is a good marriage? How do you access it? Is it making sense? So you have an ATM, a spiritual ATM that some of you are not using. Some of you are not using. Write this down. Faith is a currency. And I'm going to prove today that faith is a currency. Let's go to 1 Timothy 6, verse number 12. 1 Timothy 6 and verse number 12. What does the Bible say? It says, fight the good fight of faith. How can this fight be good? It's because we are fighting from the point of victory. We are not fighting for victory. Oh, glory to God. I'm not fighting for victory. I'm fighting from the point of victory. He tells his son Timothy, fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life to which you are called and have confessed the good confession in the presence of many witnesses. So if you're writing, write this down. I am not fighting for victory. Jesus did it for me. I am fighting from the point of victory. Let me illustrate something here. Come here, our home. Let me show you something. It's going to bless your heart. Let's assume. You know that scripture that says, uh, yet in all these things, we are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. So let's assume this is a kingdom that Junior is conquering. Senior. So to conquer means what? To own it. To take a hold of. To take possession. The Greek word is katalambano, by the way. Yes. So, once he has possessed it, can we say he has conquered it? Senior. But notice with the Bible in the same, in the same what? He should be more than a conqueror. So, more than a conqueror means... That now whatever he has conquered, he can use it. Can I hear an amen? So God has not only called us to conquer. He has called us also to use what we have conquered. Enjoy it. God bless you. So, fight the good fight of faith. Fight the good fight of faith. I say that God has already made available everything you need. You access it by faith. Now let's go to the text first, the text that we read in Mark 11, 12. Let's go back there. Now the next day, when they had come out of Bethany, he was hungry. That is a need. He was hungry. And seeing from afar a fig tree having leaves, he went to see if perhaps he would find something on it. When he came to eat, he found nothing but leaves, for it was not the season for the fig tree. In other words, I came to tell you, if you are crazy and you have audacious faith, you can change seasons. You can change seasons. In other words, you can move things in the in the spirit. You can shift things in the spirit. You can move days. Oh, glory to God. Let me, let me even go deeper because now I feel like I want to preach. Let me go deeper and tell you. Paul comes in, uh, in Philippians 3. He says, I'm talking between dying and going to Christ. But I think if I stay here, it's for your own benefit. This man had dared himself that he can stop death. Imagine, 
you're telling yourself, um, I, I feel I can go to heaven, but I want to stay here. That's the level of faith I'm talking about. That's the audacious faith I'm talking about. That's the kind of faith that uh, uh, on Thursday, they were saying 99.9% .9 blood cancer. But on Friday, she's cancer free. That is the audacious faith I'm talking about. Can I hear an amen? Now Jesus comes into the picture. It was not the season. It was not providing for him. And he said, in, uh, he said, uh, uh, Jesus said, in response, Jesus said to me, verse number 14, let no one eat food from you ever again. And his disciples had it. Because write this down, a closed mouth is a closed destiny. A closed mouth means your marriage will not work. A closed mouth means your finances will never work. And as I'm going to show you in, uh, 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 in some few uh, moments from now, I want to let you know that faith is not thought about. It is spoken. You have got to speak it. This realm of the spirit is more natural than the physical. And everything in the spiritual moves by words. That's why Jesus will say, you shall be con condemned by what you say, you shall be saved by what you say. Can I hear an amen? The world cannot be saying the economy is bad. And you're there also saying the economy is bad. Don't you realize that God has factored in a contingency plan for you and I? Praise be to God. Now Jesus says, no one shall eat food of you. And his disciples heard it. In other words, Mr. Francis, if the disciples had it, the fig tree had it, the devil had it, the creation had it. Praise be to God. So don't be surprised when you're seeing some negative things happening in your life because you spoke it. Whether you speak positive or negative, words are eternal. They don't go anywhere. They don't. The only way to cancel negative report is keeping on saying positive report. Can I hear the amen? If you've read the book that I've written, Ephesians, I try to bring the concept of Ephesians 5.18. It says, do not be drunk with wine, but be filled with the Spirit of God speaking to yourself. Speaking to yourself in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. In other words, the book of Psalms should be your best friend. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. You should be telling yourself, the Lord is the strength of my life. Of oh, whom shall I be afraid of? Oh, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want him. He makes me lie down in green pastures. That is my God. He says, in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. That's why you should love hymns. Jesus paid it all. Oh, to him I Sin had left a crimson stain. He washed me white as snow. That simple song will make you be full of the Spirit. Praise be to God. Now, jump to verse 20. Verse 20 says, Now in the morning, as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots. And Peter, remembering, said to him, Rabbi, look, the fig tree which you cast has withered away. Now look at the attitude of Jesus. Verse 22, he says, So Jesus answered to them, Have faith in God. In other words, don't be shocked that I'm doing these things. You are all also well able to do these things. I'm reminded of the scripture that says, uh, uh, there the, are signs that follow a believer. These signs shall follow them that believe. In my name, they shall cast out devil. In other words, if you look at another translation, it talks about having the God kind of faith. In other words, when God has called you, you have the God kind of faith. If Jesus withered a fig tree, you can wither some things in your life. You can murder divorce. He says, have the faith, have faith in God. Verse 23, to some promoter, they still, they still. For assuredly I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes those things which this, uh, those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. Praise be to God. He says the antidote, the only thing that can counter your faith is doubt. He says, and God does not doubt in his heart, but believes those things that he says. In other words, you believe it in your heart, and you say it with your mouth. 
Can we talk together? You believe it in your heart and you speak it with your mouth. In other words, I believe my children will not be wayward. And I keep on speaking in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and prophesy over your children. They shall not become homosexuals. In the name of Jesus Christ, the devil is a liar. I arise in the place of prayer, announcing over your daughters, over your sons. They shall not be wayward in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, which what, what what are we standing on? We are standing on the promises of God. That if I believe in my heart and speak with my mouth, my children will fear God. My children will serve God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare you shall not die prematurely. In the name of Jesus Christ, that bloodthirsty devil. We will not take your children. We will not take your marriage if you believe it. Say amen. Do you believe it, child of God? He says, have the faith of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Then verse 34 says, therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, he's not suggesting that when you stop praying, he's saying, every time you come to the place of prayer, come knowing that I'm able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you may ask or think according to the power that works in you. He says, what things soever you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. I came to charge you Son of God, that you don't need money. All you need to do is to believe God. God is not saying believe. But God is not saying bring something rather. He said just believe me. Just believe I'm bigger than your problems. I'm bigger than that sickness. I'm bigger than that. Whatever you're going through in the name of Jesus Christ. I look at the Bible in the book of Genesis. God is like, is confronted with a situation. There is darkness all around. And he comes. He doesn't come and complain and say, oh, God, oh Holy Ghost, come here. There's too much darkness. The Bible says the Spirit of God was hovering. Look at these people of God. Every time you're walking with God, the Spirit is hovering, waiting for you to speak. He's moving, waiting. In that chaotic place, he's just moving. He's just moving. He's waiting for you to say, my marriage is blessed. He's just moving. He's just moving. He's just moving. He's the Spirit of creation. So every time you're praying, you're not alone. The Spirit of God is together with you. And when you say, I am blessed, God says you're also blessed and God sees that whatever you're saying is good. Ah, I love this. God sees and says that thing is good in the name of Jesus Christ. So you are blessed. You are highly favored. No weapon fashion against you shall prosper. If God be for you, child of God, who can be against you? In the name of Jesus Christ. Mr. Francis, I'm reminded of Isaiah. The Bible says, come buy without money. I can buy a kidney. I can buy new lungs. I can buy health in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen to me, Ken. When others are dying, we study the scripture. Oh God, you shall fulfill the number of my days. With long life, you shall satisfy me in the name of Jesus Christ. When they say don't eat rice, you say like Paul, eat everything with thanksgiving. <laughs> Glory to God. Glory to God. Whose report will you believe? Will you believe the doctor's report? Will you believe the boss's report? I'm speaking to new creations in this place. Let me tell you, you are worth the life of Jesus. You are worth Jesus Christ. How now can you talk down to yourself? We are the ones that are taking over, moving with the spirit of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can I hear a better amen? Now the Bible says in Hebrews 11 where we read that faith is the title deed. Oh, this makes me want to jump up and down. That faith is the title deed. I know some of you own land, but all you have is a piece of paper that says that land belongs to you. You don't carry that land to your house. <laughs> Glory to God. Mr. Bennett, you don't carry that soil in Kisi to your home and tell us this, this uh, one acre is mine. All we know is you have a title deed that has been written, Bernard, Mr. Bernard owns land plot number A, B, C, D. That's the title deed. So, Pastor, do you know, how do you know you have a mega church? I have a title deed. I have a title deed in my bones. I may not see it, but I have it. As long as, long as I can see it in the spirit, I can have it. In the name of Jesus Christ. So faith is the title deed. How do I know you'll finish the project? I have a conviction in my spirit that God is still able to do the impossible. God is still able to bring you uh, U.S. currency. Can I hear an amen? 
God can still bring you dollars, sterling pounds, euros. Can I hear an amen? This year, somebody paid their tithe in euros. Don't joke, man. We speak and we see it in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise be to God. You can drive a car by saying. All you need to do is just say. Just believe. Just believe. Imagine Toto Angu and Amini. Ezi kwasa takula. Ima tu. Ajui kama njeda kuhani. Ajui njeda jote adi. Ezi kwasa takula. How much more children of faith? Glory to God. Are you ready? Ah, let me show you something. Let's go to Matthew 17. Verse 19. Matthew 17, 19. Then the disciples came to Jesus privately and said, Why could we not cast it out? So Jesus said to them, Because of your unbelief, for assuredly I say to you, if you have faith, oh, glory to God. Talk to me. If you have faith, if you have faith, if I have faith as a mustard seed, I will say to this mountain, it is not a particular mountain. It can be insufficiency. It can be diseases. It can be lack. Oh, glory to God. It can be a sister girl wanting to get married. It can be a brother boy wanting to begin a company. You can say to this mountain, move from here to there. It will move and nothing will be impossible for you. In other words, God specializes in impossible situations. Oh, glory to God. I came to stand up your inner man that you shall do exploits. Not because you're good. Not because you work good. Not because you tithe. But because you believe in God. Can I hear the amen? We shall take over Mr. Francis. We shall take over Kikuyu. We shall take over Kiambu County. In the name of Jesus Christ, let me tell you the vision that God has given this church. We are not a, 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 a normal church. We are not a, 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 a town church. We are a territorial church. We take over territories. In the name of Jesus Christ, we shall build a hospital. We shall build houses for people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Praise be to God. So, someone here in church got a dream. Very serious dream. I will call her to share it concerning this church. Where we are going, no eye has seen the way. No ear has heard. We shall do we shall do a church and we shall do schools and hospitals. We are building for trust generation. That a hundred years from now, for Plata di Tandi for Apo, came so and so, so and so, came for this work. We are not building for 10 years. We are building for a hundred years. And I hear an amen. And that takes faith. Do you have faith? As small as a mustard seed. You shall say to this mountain. Look at this woman with the issue of blood. He said, what? She said to herself. You see, faith always is your master. She said to herself, if I can only touch, if it goes at all, I'm so dead. Praise be to God. Who said you cannot drive? Who said you have to be married to drive? That thing is a lie. Who said? Who said? And you see, faith, like I've told you, is a combination of what you've been meditating. If you believe honestly that you have to get married to drive a car, it will happen that way because that's what you keep on saying. So now we are building Poverty is not of God. It's not attractive. Oh, my skin is poor. When I was a Christian, I was a Christian. 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 I was a 
So tunapata nini? Yesu akamwambia utapata wanyoba manini lakini unaona alipofika kwa bibi alisema akuja kwa kitu so usipende utajiri ulete bibi mwingine bora sikuwe sana alisema in this one and in the world to come please be to go you need some money you need some money you need some money bora baka wengine wameinua mikono zote hivi baka miku let me tell you poverty is not attractive it's not Amen. And that is why I want you to begin exposing yourself. Maze enda enda Kempinski. Lime water is a thousand shillings. Enda tu kae, najua ni maji, imeko ndimu. We enda tu kae muone vile wase, kuona ni kuamini. Enda tu muone. Because usipo, usipo ji expose hivi, ili siku kenda ni uyo. Kwa bufi uteka kila kitu. Kwa wa kenya mchenye mchezo. Bufia ilaza na njugu. Uleka njugu, alafu wako inamalizia na kuku. Unapita kuleti kona njugu na kuku. Unachoma, meo. Unachoma. Unachoma, meo. Kana hiya ni ime. Praise be to God. Hindo mchua vile katla rizi na kulipa. Ndiyo hiyo kisu ya kukando, siseme ni ya kupaka. Praise be to God. By the way, Look at me. By the way, this free advice. You can actually walk into a showroom and sit on a Mercedes Benz. And the guru mission is coming in a year. How to charge you? It's free. You know, it's a series. It's free. It's free. By the way, it's also free. You can get an Uber and go around nice houses here that are being built. In here to own it. In here to own it with a master bedroom in a car. Own a new bore. Own a new bore. Kuona ni bu? Kuna wengine wetu ile ile nyumba tumeona kubwa sana ni ya kuku. Siko TV. Kuona ni bu. Free of charge. Please be to God. Let me show you proofs of people who walk by faith. Joshua 10 verse number 12. Joshua 12 Joshua 12 Joshua 10 verse number 12 Tusome pamoja Then Joshua spoke to the Lord in the in the day when the Lord delivered up the Amorites All right Aha Aha Ai jamo eh So the sun stood still and the moon stopped till the, day, the people had revenge upon their enemies. Is this not written in the book of Joshua? So the sun stood still in the midst of heaven and did not hasten not to go down for a whole day. And there has been no day like that before it or after it that the Lord heeded the voice You know, I have um, I love watching a lot of the, uh, documentaries, and actually, scientists prove that there is a day that is missing. You have seen it; they have proved there is a day that is missing. Imagine Joe is mama. Ustaze na mungu. Do you know Joe is mama? Ilimanisha dunia is mama. Stars is mama. Moon is mama, according to the Bible. And it did not affect any ecological system because scientists say that when the earth stops spinning, to Tarushua, that's what they are saying. But the Ojuwa is mame. It means it means that Jupiter is mama. Everything in the Milky Way stopped, and there was no disruption because a man was fighting. And the man said, with a sword, "Sun stand still." Na usisahau hii time waongee na tanks. No tanks. Usimamisha jua na mwezi. Sasa wewe ule Mungu alikuwa huko alikuwa anakuja juu yao. Wewe anako ndani yako. Sienda nao utasimamisha basi uba. Angana uti. Is it making sense? Do 
something with your faith. He said, Son, stand still. And what caught my eye was this the Lord heeded the voice of a man. May God heed the voice of a man here. In the name of Jesus Christ. In other words, Anu Lezasumama Useme, Kwetu Akuna Mtu Atakufa before they get their time. They Kwetu. Praise be to God. Praise God. Is he making sense? Is he making sense? Yes. Let me tell you something. My dad passed on at around 40. And he passed on according to the doctors it was blood cancer. Cancer of the bones or something. So when I when I was going through now to the KO come for the evening, yeah, the testimony now there, but somewhere, somehow I would I would think about my dad at 40. Because it was his prime time of beginning ministry. I began praying for myself. I said, I have the life of God in me, pulsating in me, from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. I've never told my wife this. And by the grace of God, I did not die. In other words, there are things you can correct in my sons, what a Peter. My sons, what a Peter. Can I hear an amen? I don't need to drink funny oil. Johnny Peter 40. All I need is to believe God and to confess it. Praise be to God. My wife will tell you from her side, no one has ever gotten married, right? As in church, church wedding, she was the first person. She said it. It came to pass. What have you been saying? Can I hear an amen? Praise be to God. Now look at Hebrews 11 verse 30. Hey. Glory to God. Glory. Hebrews 11 verse 30. It says what? By faith, the walls of Jericho fell down after they were encircled for seven days. By faith, tell it. The walls of Jericho fell down. Now let's go to that story of Jer- uh, Jericho in Joshua 6 verse number 1. That has so many pamoja. Because I want to show you some few things. Go to see you right now. I want to show you some few things. You know, yesterday I was in a wedding and there were, there were several men of God there. Hey, me, me, you are the one, odd one out. I know I know you know I'm not I'm not going to be a good one. I'm not going to be a I'm not going to be a good one. I'm not going Let's read. Now, Jericho was securely shut up because of the children of Israel. Let's pay attention to that scripture. Why was Jericho shut? Not because of any other person. Because of them. So, can we correctly say that there are things that are shut because you're born again? Can you see there are things that are shut because you're born again? Alright, let's continue. And none came in, and none went out. And the Lord said, verse number two, and the Lord said to Joshua, see, I have given Jericho into your hands. It is an impossible situation. But God has said me, Joshua, I know it is shut. Go down and get you call. Go down and get Joshua, see. The first conviction of faith is to see. You need to see. You need to see somebody that is married and enjoying their marriage. See it first. Can I hear amen? See a man and a woman who are parenting well first. See it. He says, see, I have given Jericho into your hands. Are you seeing that? And the mighty men of Vela. In other words, Jericho, your day. Now was a war day. You may put here. Verse 3. You shall all your men of war, you shall go all around the city once. This you shall do six days. 
speak in modes of God. And God is very strategic. God knows this place is shut. God tells Jericho, Nime kupatia. But Jericho, usiende kukonka fast. Yeah. Hold on to my instructions. So if God has given you a dream, you also need to maintain a dream in God. If God gives you that marriage, you don't first go to a marriage counselor. You go back to God. He's the author of that union. Can I hear an amen? The way my marriage works is not the way Velma's marriage will work. Everybody has their own instructions. He says what? Match. That's a good reason. Who God come and imurin and imunoma. Si tuliona wengine aliwapika na maji. Hawa naambia wa match. It doesn't make sense. Does it? Eh? Kesho na joko na maandamano. Huu ni kwani? Sasa nazunguka hivi. Jericho. Hapo hapo sita sasa nazunguka hivi. Alafu mara sasa unasema <laughs> you shall watch around the city all your men of war you shall go all around the city once this you shall do tuelewane hata kama wewe ni ni Jericho and assume we ni Jericho and your friends here in Jericho unaje runda la wasi inazunguka once every day wanazunguka na okay unaosalimia Wanazunguka hivi alafu wanaishia. Wanarudi kesho tena wanazunguka na ongei. Sasa ile kuchanganya. Alafu siku ya saba wasi. Utashtuka. Eh? Ati ni sera kwa kuzunguke. Let's continue. Bas number 4. Bas number 4. And seven priests. Aha. Before the ark. But the seventh day, you shall march around the city seven times. So, square seven. How many? You should look at it. Why they make it make sense? This thing never makes sense. And when they make, it shall come to pass when they make a long blast with the ram's horn, and when you hear the sound of the trumpet, that all the people shall shout with a great shout. Then the wall of the city will fall down flat and the people shall go up every man straight before him God and fact it that you see your sabo mtipiga nduru wala ikaanguka ibatshe the breeze ko hivi itakuwa flat vile mnaweza pita usicheze na pain and that's basically what happened see you quickly verse number one. then Joshua the son of course you know the story but the point is this See my faith. See my faith. So as I draw to a close, what you need to know about faith. Write that down. What I need to know about faith. What I need to know about what? About faith. Number one, God keeps his word. God keeps his word. You can never trust somebody that breaks their word. You can never trust somebody that tells you we meet tomorrow and they never keep their word. And one of the marks of a true child of God is you keep your word. Have a good name of keeping your word. Hata ni digress hapa ni sadia watu. Have a good name of keeping your word. If you say I will support you can support somebody no matter what. Praise be to God. If you say I'm with you, kwa kama Yesu, be with somebody always. Keep your word. Praise be to God. And mean it. Hallelujah. So we are saying God keeps his word. Let's look at Numbers 23. Numbers 23, verse number 19. The message Bible. Numbers 23, 19. It says, God is not man. One given to lies. Tunachomaga sana. And not a son of man. Changing his mind. We thank God that God doesn't change his mind. Does he speak and not do what he says? Does he promise? Are you getting my point? So, wakati tunasima grace, God asha fanya. 
He cannot lie. You. When he says, I have given you all things that pertain to life and godliness, it's true. When he says, By my stripes you are healed, it's true. Praise be to God. Listen to me. God at the same if they stand in their red, where believe in their red, what a reason they are white, where believe in their red, even your faith in a poor. Can I hear an amen? The reason why faith doesn't work is because you're too logical. How can it be white? Is my specs lying to me when God says it is red? Even if it was not meant to be red, it will be red. Praise be to God. Can we see it in the New Living Translation? God is not a man. He does not lie. He is not human. So he does not change his mind. Has he ever spoken and failed to act? That's a scripture for somebody today. Has he ever promised and not carried it through? Look at Malachi 3.6. The Bible says, For I am the Lord. I change not. I do not change. God doesn't change. His word is tested and tried. Look at Proverbs 30, verse number 5. Amplified. Proverbs 30, verse number 5. Every word of God is tried and tested or purified. So God I am taking you to the nations. I should not even worry about a passport. If he said it, I believe it. If he has spoken, I believe it. That's settled this. Can I hear the amen? Say with me, I believe the word. I receive the word. And I run with the word. Never begin with the word of God. Praise be to God. Mm -hmm. Let's look at Psalm 84, verse number 11. Psalm 84, verse number 11. It says what? For the Lord God is a sun and a shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing. To some of you, Ah, New King James. No good thing will he withhold. No good thing. What is a good thing that you want? Talk to me. Aka. Talk to me. House. Piece of land. Do you know Kunele scripture in the You will live in houses if you know be. Come on, we go to each church in the Romans 15, 4 in the same name. Those things were written for our land. So it was written to us to learn that we can live in houses we did not build. Praise God. May you get a title deed. No, 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 I don't see you see well, by the receive it. May you get a title deed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Then Jana, Ilenda Arus. My wife was doing a class. Ilenda Arus. This man of God was telling me testimonies. We shall know testimony in a jar. This man of God was telling me that at the time they were transitioning to a new location for the church. The biggest giver in the church left. The Apodom Nasemaka Sela. Sela is not Sarah, it's, 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 it means pose and think. The biggest giver, Akashia. The sons he was raising, Wakaenda. The church right there, where they are, are is 75,000 shillings. Sela, per month. Sama Sela. Allah for the corner, then he amazed it up. How much is that big, my brother? Almost 200 and something. Serio? And so when they left, he knelt down. He told God, You are the one that told me I can never be put to shame. I have given you back the work. I'm waiting on you. Hmm? Yesterday he was telling me that three months later, somebody came, cleared the chat read, cleared the chat read, and then gave him five title deeds. Five and one piece of land is 18 million. Are you getting now? The testimony of the seas or land so you go on the transition when the place is given. You place on the point of the end up, what's ever can you tell your story? When you look up, you look up. 
Only look at your story. Then they had spent millions on that land. So for an easy five pieces of land, guess what? One of them is the place they were going. The place they were going. So yesterday he was telling me, Pastor, I don't know whether to sell, to retain. Now I don't know where even to build the church. I'm just waiting on God. And God has superseded their limitations. It's just in a God. Kama ikitu inawaka, wacha kiyone na ima ato. Wana suwe sana. Let's go to 1 Thessalonians 5.24. 1 Thessalonians 5.24. Ndiyo tuna usonga hapa. Unaona hizi maibu ndongo ndongo hizi za matinga tinga hapa. That's where you are moving. By the way, by the way, by the way, the truth and the life, this is our last Sunday here. Yes, this is our last Sunday here. Yes. So next Sunday is come up. We make provisions for, for people to go there. But we are going there. Ata kama tutaenda tuangaliane wawili watatu. Tutaimba hiyo siku. Tutadaske mosho ke mosho tukule neno na tuende ho. Praise be to God. First Thessalonians 5:24 inasema nini? He who calls you is faithful who will also do it. God is so faithful. See, you know, the good. You know, the fraction. One of the sons. Me, I am so full of faith. Me, na me. To not let you take your deed. I am so persuaded. To not let you take your deed. It is actually burning in my spirit. Take your deed in a car. Now, come on, my own, let you take your deed. Make haste. The king's business requires haste. That's a scripture that says that. The king's business requires haste. Let me give you another scripture. Jesus said, when you go there to Jerusalem, you will find a coat, untie it. And when somebody says, why are you untying this coat? Tell them the master has need of it. So the master has need of your finances. So when the master has in need of your finances, make haste. Can I hear an amen? Praise God. All right. The second thing. God keeps his word. The second thing you need to know about faith is that faith comes. Faith comes. Faith is not always there. It comes. And it only comes after we keep on hearing and hearing the word of God. Romans 10. Verse number eight. Romans 10, 8. Romans 10, 8. Mm -hmm. Romans 10, 8. Romans 10, 8. But what do, does it say? The word is near you. How near? In your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. That if you call first with your mouth, the Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For the heart, for with the heart, one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth. So that's why you are going to be able 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 to be Sometimes you even pray like we are using subtitles. You have to speak it. Can I hear an amen? Praise God. Mm -hmm. Let's go to verse number of the same chapter, verse 13. Verse 13, the same huh? For whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be. So is it a Yesu Kimoyamoyo? Verse 14. How then shall they call on him whom they have not believed? How shall they believe in him whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear? So God uses a preacher to build your faith. 
So in navigating the story, we don't need a church. We are the body of Christ. We don't need a church. We have the spirit. We are the church. They won't have it. How shall they believe? How shall they hear without what? A preacher. Verse 15. And how shall they preach? That's why we've got to send some people here. Can I hear the Kuna ma branch in a Amen. Amen. Kuna ma branch in a And let me tell you something that the Lord has been starting in my spirit. When we go there, it will be supernatural growth. To tell him, puka to pa. So you better get ready as you pray and study the word of God. Kuna kuna ma Bible study, ma kesha, ma nini. And guess what? Some of you are going to be preaching there. Holy Ghost meeting. Mama Luisa and I say, I have a word for you. And I tweet her. To learn that my car will not ski and learn all the It cannot be pastor doing it every day. If I keep on doing it every day, you are not growing. Eh? See you, Mr. Vena. Now, Pastor Loliondo. You know, Loliondo, everybody, and a Pangalai in your pair of people to put on your pony. No, 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 no. Pastor is not the showman here. Jesus is. What I can do, you can do better. Amen. So I see people in the marketplace full of the word of God. Eh? Mike. Okay. I don't know Mike. Mike. I just have some ways if I have a kazi to do it. You know, yesterday morning before I went for the wedding, I met somebody, a very good friend of ours. I was like, I'm going to do it. There are some people who are working together with her. Now, when I find a juju, when I get confused, when I find a juju, when I dance, dance, I go to juju, ibi, ye ye ye, alafu, when I settle, I can even say, "Sir, pastor, go and enter that." Ika mo mi na una muka sa uni. Chaka da 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 da, manda da da da, supra kata, sekata da, manda da da da. Yoki kujo confusion. Let me tell you, Mr. Bernard, this thing is so real. You can fire people. Hey, we can fire people. Can I tell you we can fire people? The reason now I'm saying for audacity, we do not practice in the authority. You know, when you say that you are not going to do your work, you are not going to do your work. 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 Praise be to God. So, Ebu and Gadi, you are paying for it. Come on, I say, for the new one, for now, that's it, for your child. Who you tell us that you go to the home of Siku? Who tell us that you are Velma? Velma, you go to the home. You go to the home. Do you know? Nime kuja, nime kuwa na ambiwa. Now they are stealing using your child. They are stealing using your child. Eh? Who you are toying? Sorry, you are not toying. You are not toying. You are not toying. You are not toying. Unafau kujia na tayo na ofari, ikabebwa. Jumseri tumia uchawi. Mi, by the way, by the time unakoroga. Uliskime testimony ya mama giniona hapa naona moto. Sasa kaona hile ya kuchomelea. Hile ya gas. Kana hile ni hile. Say with me, situ pipesa. No, what you woke up. Wana sikuwe sana. By the time God is placing you, for example, in Safarito, and I talk now, so I'm to you, Cham. But when in Moses, let us your kayak on Roma. Is it Moses or Ted? Oh, my sweet son. Oh, Pastor. Oh, my God, Pastor. Oh, I talk now, so I'm going to push. 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 The devil is a liar. To Tawa Hamisha. Nani ya kona mimi? Tuta wahamisha. In Jesus name. Kutu, ah, usipenda kia watoto shule fulani. Kwa nini? Hii ukonjo homosexuality hiko. Oh. Oh. Whatever is born of God. Oh. Oh. Let me tell you. Dear Osborne says. In one of his books he says. It got to a place the devil recognized. That is in town. That alikuwa na shuka nege hivi. 
I'm going to take this in the hepa. Ah, that's me, man. That's me. Praise be to God. I told her the bank. But the week, we were discussing this thing with my wife. Never say it, it cannot happen. Like it's impossible. You will say, it's too easy for you. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Ukona Yesu unasema vitu zile atuleta bank kupanga la hiyo na ngoo ati tunafunga mpaka saa 7. Unamwambia no. Sabi. The audacity of faith. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Am I making sense? Unajua unajua wengine wengi do I go ahead of myself? Can you see? Can you? I will tell you this for a fact. Some of you, your faith will grow when you see what is happening in my, me and my wife's life. I'm telling you, yes. we pray we had it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> there, to the end of the world, to the end of the world, to the end of the world, to Utakuta tuko kwa kwa peri yetu ya chuma mzuri. Uta, Unajua utakuwa uki, uki. Usha wana wako leba pambio kiangalia hivyo. Kiangalia hivyo. Kiangalia hivyo. Mungu wana kuchaka hivyo. Some of you, some of you, your faith levels will grow when we go there. Kaya mwenye. Kama mungu wana zapeana daito di itano. Miku mtu moja. Wakati wako wana wana. Wakati Praise be to God. Can I hear an amen? Velma, I pray that you can get some kucha. You see, come up on a vehicle, my spirit funny. Zina toke apple. And I put it what must I do to have something you have? Be spiritual. What can you not find a job? Be spiritual. You're ministering there. Can I hear an amen? The kid that goes to work and needs deliverance. Now when you make work, you deliver. You get a promotion. But such a long time promotion. Promotion is because you don't know what you want. Can I hear an amen? Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. And then he says. How beautiful are the feet of those who preach the gospel of peace, who bring glad tidings of good things. And then verse 16 says what? But they have not obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed our report? So then, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. You can only build faith by hearing. Where are we? To the your in Jesus' name. Don't be asked. Don't be told. Don't be asked. In Jesus' name. Is it making sense? That faith comes. Number three. Faith can be seen. Faith can be seen. Matthew 92. Matthew 92. It says, And behold, they brought to him a man sick of palsy, lying on a bed. And Jesus, seeing their faith, said unto the sick of palsy, Son, be of good cheer. Thy sin be forgiven thee. Jesus seeing their faith. So God can see your faith. And the devil can see your faith. Let's look at Mark 2, verse number 5. When Jesus saw their faith, he said unto the sick of palsy, Son, thy, son, thy, thy sin be forgiven thee. Faith can be seen. Praise be to God. How do we get faith? By hearing the word of God. So the more I hear the word of God, the more faith can be seen in me. Okay, but here, Paul. The Bible says, as he was preaching, he noticed somebody that was supposed to be healed. He says what? He saw faith rising in him. Akaacha ku preach, aka minister ko omitu. So, Mr. Francis, even when we are ministering to you here, and the rest of you here, we can tell who is raising their face up. Let's attend. Let's attend where they may come here. But I can tell who you are receiving. Praise be to God. 
faith can be seen. Number four, it is possible to have no faith. It is possible to have no faith. Mark 4, 36 says, Now when they had left the multitude, they took him along in the boat as he was. And other boats were also with him. And a great windstorm arose, and the waves beat into the boat so that it was already filling. But he was in the stern asleep in on a pillow. And they woke him and said to him, Teacher! Pastor! <laughs> Do you not care that you are perishing? Do you know they were not perishing? So when you go on boat, we don't have fear. We will exaggerate. We shall notice. We came at home. We put a kufuli tattoo. The next thing we are jogging in auctioniwa. Then we go be auctioni. We kufuli too zilif. Don't exaggerate things. See you. We na patam say I'm a photo job and I say ma come on Niger. My life is finished. My enemies are finishing me. They are killed. You are not even dead. My job is my share. See you? When I put a brother boy on the booty on a day, when I say my generational curses have come for me. No. Maybe the person was not the right person. But I don't know that when you are to over. Have you realized that you are going to change the young people who are going to be changed? When I put a kuna marafiki, I thought you were going to tell me that you were Majibu. Majibu is called Sana Sana Milonataka. The Milanungu and Ataka. What does he say? 39 says, Then he arose and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. But he said to them, the disciples, to some of them, but he said to them, Why? Are you so fearful? How is it that you have? So when you are fearing, it means you have no fear. And most of the time, man, I've noticed we fear because of what we are watching. Today, the Ministry of Health reports X amount of deaths, uh, 700 people have been infected, and two have recovered. <laughs> That's bad news. <laughs> and even for what I know, when you have recovered, I hope you want to emphasize. See you. Do you know many people died of COVID because of fear? Because of fear. Most of you, the reason why I'm going to take these steps, I'm going to walk sana. Now, my wife, what's the worst that can happen? What's the worst that can happen? Ask yourself, what's the worst that can happen? What's the worst that can happen? So he says, why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? Number five. This is where it gets interesting. Number five. Point number five. Yeah. Point number five. Without faith, you cannot please God. Oh, pastor, I want to please God. I want to please God, to glorify God. Have faith. Hebrews 11 verse 6 says, But without faith, it is impossible to please Him. For he that comes to God must believe that He is. You must believe that God is God. And that He is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. Message Bible in Asema, it is impossible to please God apart from faith. And why? Because anyone who wants to approach God must believe both that he exists and that he cares enough. Ah, so may I, but that's powerful. That he cares enough to respond to those who seek him. That is the life of faith. Number six. Mix the word with faith. Mix the word with faith. Hebrews 4 verse number 2. We're going to read it together. Hebrews 6, uh, 4 verse number 2. Sorry. Hebrews 4 verse number 2. New King James. What does it say? We receive the... For indeed, the gospel was preached to us as well to them. But the word 
which they had did not profit them. Why? Not being mixed in those who. So, Mr. and Mrs. Francis, as we preach, as you receive the word of God, what are you supposed to do? Mix it with faith so that it produces the Lord and the same, it did not profit them. So I can teach and it doesn't profit you. Because you're not mixing it with faith. Number seven, we are drawing to a close. Number seven, with God, all things are possible. With God, all things are possible. Matthew 19, 26 says, But Jesus beheld them and said unto them, With men, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Mark 9, 23 says, Jesus said to them, If you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. Look at that. The qualification is just believe. Just believe. Just believe. Mm -hmm. Mark 10, 27. And Jesus looking unto them saying, With men, it is impossible. Mark 10, 27. With men, it is impossible. But not with God, for with God all things are possible. Luke 18, 27. He says, and he says, the things which are impossible with men are possible with God. Praise be to God. Now let's go to the next point, the second last point. Faith is spoken. Faith is spoken. Faith is what? Faith is spoken. Let's go to Hebrews 11, verse number 3. Hebrews 11, 3. The Bible says, By faith we understand that the words were framed by the word of God, so that the things which are seen were not made of things which are not visible. By faith we understand that the words, whatever you're seeing in the physical, was first created in the unseen realm, and then it was transported by speaking. Can I hear an amen? The seat that you're sitting on was first an idea in the spirit. Somebody conceived it in the spirit. Then he actualized it and brought it physically to where now it is. Praise be to God. That is why I'm telling you, and I'll keep on telling you this care, that the greatest world, the greatest nation in the world is called imagination. You can stretch your head there. You can stretch your vision there. Praise be to God. And Hebrews 10, 23 says, let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering. Don't waver. Don't move around. Stick to that thing that God called you to do. Can I hear an amen? If God said that this year is a year of ease, it doesn't matter what I'm seeing. I still confess ease. I still see ease in the name of Jesus Christ. And I love this scripture in 2 Corinthians 4, 13. It says we have the same spirit of faith According as it is written, I believe, therefore I have spoken. We also believe, and therefore we speak. So for one minute, just begin to speak what you want to see. I'm giving you a minute to speak what you want to see. He says, we, having the same spirit of faith, according as it, uh, as it is written, I believe, therefore I have spoken. We also believe, and therefore we speak. You can never believe and be quiet. Every time you believe, you have to speak it. You have to speak that you have a good marriage. You have to speak that you have a good family. That you're coming out of insufficiency and lack in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, speak for a second. Speak for a second. Speak over that business. Speak over your children. Speak over your destiny. Speak over your finances in the name of Jesus Christ. And lastly, be fully persuaded. Be fully persuaded in the name of Jesus Christ. Romans 4, 17 says, as it is written, I have made you a father of many nations in the presence of him who believe God, who gives life to the dead and calls those things that do not exist as though they did. He made him a father of many nations. Remember that Abraham had at that particular time did not have a son. He did 
not even have Ishmael, but God spoke in the future. He told him, I have made you a father of many nations. Just like I'm hearing in my spirit uh, that he has already made you the businessman you ought to be, the teacher you ought to be, the career person you ought to be, the man of God you ought to be. I have made you the man of God of many nations. I have made you a business person of many nations. I have made you a career person of many nations. In the presence of him who believe God, who gives life to the dead and calls those things that be not as though they are. We are the generation that calls things to come into existence. We have God on our side. We can call things to come to existence in the name of Jesus Christ. The reason why I know you shall live in your own house is because we are calling those things that be not as though they are. You don't need to pray when you, you don't need to pray for a house when you have a house. You pray and exercise your faith when you don't have a house. In the name of Jesus Christ, listen to me, people of God. The Bible says the Lord, the other, the Lord, and the fullness thereof belongs to God. He owns cattle on a thousand hills. If he has to sell one cattle to give you something, he will do it. Let me tell you, you have to stand with the gospel. You have to stand with the word of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh, my father owns the world. And the fullness thereof. If he owns the earth and the fullness thereof, then what is a 50 by 100? What is a 100 by 100? What is an acre? He can give it to me. All I need to do is just believe God for the impossible in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says He is the God that calls those things that be not as though they are. And as a servant of God, I decree that you are blessed, that you are highly favored in the name of Jesus Christ. Your life is winding up. Father, escaping from hell below her. I am not speaking where you are. I'm speaking where God says you are. In the name of Jesus Christ, you shall not die prematurely. You shall not give up on God, give up on destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare her. You may not have an answer right now, but as you exercise your faith, all things are working together for your good. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare in this season of ease, we shall be easy for you to do things in the name of Jesus Christ. The word for JCC family is that the people who know their God shall be strong and do exploits. I see exploits coming your way in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, listen to me, people of God. You shall do exploits, not by power, not by might, but by the Holy Spirit of God. The people who are blessed look like you. People who drive look like you. People who own land look like you. You are above only and not believe. I decree and declare sufficiency is not your portion. Poverty is not your portion. In the name of Jesus Christ, if God is your father and he says heaven is like with streets of gold, then you shall have money on this earth. In the name of Jesus Christ, that devil is a liar. You shall not borrow and beg. That devil is a liar. You shall not borrow and beg. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare that the angels of the Lord are ministering to you right now in everything in Jesus' favor. I decree and declare provision. I decree and declare provision by faith in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody. Decree and declare by faith. I decree and declare by faith. Makadaka Zekede Zopra Zekede. In the name of Jesus Christ, you shall not begin a project and it starts midway. I see the finishing grace. Oh, glory to God. I see the finishing grace in the name of Jesus Christ. The God that promised you, Andrew, I re uh, that horse and business, uh, he is not a man that he should lie. Uh, don't look at the money, just look at the word of God. Uh, the Bible says, Great war with the prophetic word. Uh, and I ask you, people of God, whose report uh, will you believe? Uh, don't believe the report of your bank account, uh, don't believe the report uh, of you lacking money. You can use faith as a currency uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, Andrew, listen to me. Uh, some Somebody can build a whole warehouse and give it to you. That is the audacity of faith in the name of Jesus Christ. Ah, listen to me, Mr. Francis. Somebody can import a car they are planning to use and they give you the keys. That is the audacity of faith. All you need to do is believe God. Just believe God. Just be crazy enough to believe God can do the impossible in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen to me, Ken. God can give you a mega church in the name of Jesus. 
Christ. You may pray to do church growth uh, seminars, uh, but God has supersede your limitation. Uh, all you need to do is just believe. Uh, are you crazy enough to believe? Uh, do you have a childlike faith to believe God uh, who quickens the dead uh, and calls those things that be not uh, as though they are in the name of Jesus Christ? Uh, listen to me, Mr. Gabriel. Uh, God is able, uh, God is able to restore the years uh, that the worms have eaten, uh, the tucker worms. Uh, God is able to restore years. God is able to restore finances. Do you believe God who quickened the dead and caused those things that be not as though they are? That is my God. That is my God who does the impossible. That is my God who does the impossible. He specializes with the impossible situations. With men, it is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. In the name of Jesus Christ, where are the faithful believers? Exercise your faith in the name of Jesus Christ. He is still well able. His hand is not short. He is a miracle worker. He is a destiny changer. He is the letter of man. Oh, when he speaks, the earth can shake. When he speaks, even the devil trembles. This God is able to lift you up from the married grave. You that has been written off, he is the one that picks up and changes them. You that has been speaking badly off. He can turn around your situation. All you need is just believe. This God, just believe God who quickens the dead and cause those things that be not as though they are. Oh, God changes people's lives. Oh, no pastor can change your life. But there's a God in heaven who can alter destinies. There is a God in heaven who can give you land. I know from your genealogy, from your mother, from your sisters, they have never owned land, but I dare you to believe God who quickened the dead and caused those things that be not as though they are. Come on, come on, faith will deliver us. I agree with the word of God. Shaka di babo so prasika di babo so kode Ika di babo so prasika di babo ha He specializes with impossible situations Oh, I feel like laughing When I hear you have an impossible situation Because that demands God to come into the picture In the name of Jesus Christ Do you have an impossible situation Then it demands God to come into the picture If I were you by faith I will tell you I trust you with my life I may not know where I'm going, but I put my trust in you. You have never failed. Any time I look upon you, you have never failed. You specialize in impossible situations. You have told me by your word, men can fail. It is impossible with men, but with God, all things are possible. God can give you the fruit of your web in the name of Jesus Christ. God can still give you a husband. He can give you a wife in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, my God, my God, his name is Jesus, his name is Jesus, let me remind you of the four Hebrew boys. Uh, they were thrown into the fire. And the Kadineza sees and says, We threw three guys, but I see four people. And one seems like the Son of God. That is the Jesus we serve. That in the face of turmoil, he is a fourth person. Glory to God. He is a fourth person waiting to do the impossible in the name of Jesus Christ. And the Bible says when they came out uh, that none of them smell like fire in Jesus' name. Uh, may God settle you once and for all. Uh, may God settle your finances once and for all. Uh, may God settle your, your housing once and for all. Uh, uh, we serve a God uh, that specializes uh, in impossible situations. Uh, when you are in some, uh, uh, you're surrounded uh, with insurmountable things, uh, you can cry out to God and tell him, uh, I have faith in God. Uh, I have faith for the impossible. I love what David says. He says, But my God, I can run against a troop. But my God, I can leap over walls, laws of limitation. In the name of Jesus Christ, I can run against a troop. But my God, I can leap over walls, laws of limitation. 
gives life to the dead uh, and calls those things which do not exist uh, as though they did. Uh, who contrary to hope, uh, in hope believed. Uh, who contrary to hope, uh, in hope believed. Uh, in other words, uh, what Abraham was facing uh, was beyond uh, any human understanding. Uh, that's why the Bible says, who contrary to hope, uh, in hope believed. Uh, do you have something contrary to hope? Uh, keep on believing. Uh, keep on saying. Uh, keep on announcing. Uh, things are changing. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, who contrary to hope, uh, in hope believed. Uh, Makade Zobrazi Kadiba Bozo Kadaka Zekede Makada Babosa who contrary to hope in hope believed so that he became the father of many nations. Abraham became the father of many nations without seeing Isaac. He became the father of many nations without seeing Ishmael. He just believed that it was according to him in the name of Jesus Christ. Makadiba Boso Prasika Iba Boma and the Bible says that not being weak in faith, he did not consider his own body. He refused to be weak in faith. Oh, don't be weak in faith, child of God. Makadaba Bosa, he cadiba boso prasika iba bose kadaka zekebe. Makadiba boso prasika iba bo. He did not consider the already dead body of Sarah, which was about a hundred years old. Was thirty says, and he did not believe at the promises of God through unbelief but was strengthened in pain. He did not believe at the promises of God. He did not believe at the promises of God. Oh, I prophesy over your life, child of God, that every prophetic word is coming to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. I dare to believe God for the impossible. I dare to believe God for the impossible in this season. I dare to believe God for the impossible in the Name of Jesus Christ, Makada Babosa Makadi Baboso Presica de Casique de Makadi Baboso Presica de Babo Shangarani Baboso Presica de Makadi Baboso Presica de Babo. Who is the name of Jesus? I want you to understand. That you can never live apart from faith. And let me tell you something. Anytime we have or we enter into a comfort zone, Mr. Francis, God will allow things to make us uncomfortable so that we keep on going. Because faith has no destination unless you go up or it comes down. Praise be to God. We have to keep on praying the prayer of faith. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And we have an example of Abraham. The Bible says in verse 20, he did not waver at the promises of God through unbelief, but was strengthened in faith, giving glory to God. And my verse for this season has been verse 21. He says, and being fully persuaded, fully convinced that what he had promised he is able to perform. My work is to be fully persuaded. Yes. That is my work. That is my work. That is my work. I have stood here many times to tell you that you guys will shape this city. I don't say that so that you can come every time. I say it because I'm seeing it. In the name of Jesus. Praise be to God. I know some of you single ladies will be so loaded, yet you're on fire for God. I know it. I know it. I know it. Praise be to God. Are you fully persuaded that what God promised is able to perform? Lift up your head and say, and pray that prayer. Father, I'm fully persuaded. I am fully convinced that you can never promise 